the disciples had their gear, everything they needed to catch some fish. So off they went to go fishing. Now the fish were there, they just didn't see them. They were fishing off the wrong side of the boat. All day long they fished here and caught nothing because the fish were over there. So Jesus goes, you guys, lower your nets on the other side of the boat. As tired as they were, because it was Jesus, they said, okay. And when they lowered their nets and went fishing over here, oh my gosh, what a catch of fish. Us, as we go through life, there is always life available for us as well. But sometimes we don't see it. We just keep fishing where there are no fish. We keep trying to find life where there isn't any. So Jesus says to us as well, you're fishing off the wrong side of the boat. If you really want to know life and meaning and joy and be happy, fish off the other side. It never even dawns on us that on the other side of what we see, there could be something that has greater life for us. For example, there is no life for us if we fish in the waters of being mad all the time. And some people choose to be mad all the time. They think it's somebody else's fault, of course, but really, if we're mad all the time, it's because of what we're telling ourselves up here. It's our own fault. Some people fish all the times, all the time in the waters of being mad, and there is no life there. Or, there are no fish to be caught if we think that what we need to be happy is oh, all the things that the commercials say, right? I just need those new tennis shoes, or that new toy, or we get older, that car, or that new home, or that vacation, or I need to do what they do on TikTok, or be like that person on Instagram, or whatever. And we're fishing where there's no real life. I mean, those things are okay. But there's no real life there. But some people just keep fishing there. Maybe we do too. Or sometimes we're just always thinking about the next thing, right? Uh, or maybe we're thinking about the, what, how things used to be. But more often than not, we're thinking about the next thing, what we're going to do next. And then we miss what's right in front of us. We miss the life that's right there because we're fishing off the wrong side of the boat by thinking in the future instead of now. And all those places we won't end up with anything but a heart as empty as the end of our fishing line. A life as empty as our nets. But there are waters into which we can cast our nets that do teem with life. And the more we fish in these waters, you know what? The more joy we have, the more life we find. And what are these waters? Well, these are the waters, for example, of being thankful. You know, the more we practice being thankful, the more we find out how much we have to be thankful for. And we have so much life. What a wonderful, wonderful place to spend our time and energy. Being thankful. Another one? When we fish in the waters of kindness. You know, of welcoming people, taking care of those that are poor or hurting welcoming people. And when we do that, this amazing thing happens. That fills our nuts with life when we're taking care of others. One more thing. I mean, there's many, but 
when we fish in the waters of the present moment of being aware of right now instead of always thinking of the next thing because it's always and only in the now that we find God, that we find life. Life is not out there somewhere, some other time. It's always now. My friends, it is when we are like Jesus and choose to value what he valued that we can find a joy as in no other place. We can know the joy that he knew, the meaning that he found, the purpose that he had, the lasting, profound joy. Being thankful, being kind to those in need, and aware of the moment, these waters hold great life. This weekend at three of our Masses, children are celebrating First Communion. You know, perhaps you've celebrated that with someone you love or, or seen that yourself in person. To all grown-ups who help bring children forward to that day, thank you. Thank you for leading them to a place of life, the deep waters of life. If you help make sure, as is our commitment, that these children grow in a home where God is talked to and talked about, where at least one parent goes to Mass on a regular basis, where kindness to others and service to those in need is witnessed as a value, you are helping your children lower their nets into what will truly give them life. To each of us, there is always great life and goodness available to us. But sometimes we keep fishing where there are no fish. Trying to find life where there is no life. May we listen for those times when Jesus says, No, lower your nets on the other side. And when we lower our nets into the way of Jesus, what a catch. What deep joy. What great life. What true meaning.